I'm here in London, which has a handful of campsites which will get you into the centre in just under an hour. But I've chosen to stay at Lee Valley Campsite in Edmonton, which is just 12 miles away. But more about that site later on the programme. First, let me show you around some of the beautiful sights and sounds of our capital city. Covent Garden is a tourist hotspot, but don't let that put you off. It's still one of the finest places to go shopping, eat and see some great free entertainment. Some impromptu and some a little more rehearsed. But there's lots to see in London and if you're doing it all on foot, it's going to take you quite some time. I would recommend hopping on an open top bus tour such as this one. Along the route, you'll be able to take in some of the most famous landmarks, including the London Eye, which, when erected in 1999, was the tallest Ferris wheel in the world, before it was eclipsed by the Star of Nanchang in China. The bridges of London are a great draw in themselves, from the modern Millennium Bridge, which transports visitors from the Tate Modern to St Paul's, to the traditional Tower Bridge, which is right beside the Tower of London. A recent attraction is the Shard, a reflective structure that dwarfs the skyline and most of the structures in Western Europe. It's home to the super deluxe five-star Shangri-La Hotel. But who needs that when you've got a palace on wheels? One of the best places to view the city and for free is from the top of One New Change, a shopping centre nestled behind St Paul's. Whiz up and down in the glass lift and you'll feel like you're on a fairground ride. The panoramas from here are just breathtaking and it's now on my list of London favourites. Did I mention it was a shopping centre too? In fact, I'm starting to feel like a bit of a London expert and I reckon I could be the perfect tour guide. I met it with Nick from the Big Bus Company to find out more and to see if I could have a go at his job. So, Nick, what's your favourite thing about working on the bus? Um, well, there's so much I love about it. It's, it's brilliant. For a start, you get to see views like this every day, everywhere you go, at night, in the day. Um, you get to meet loads of really, really interesting people, sort of going around hearing their views on, on the things that you see. What gets the most, like, oohs and ahs from the tourists? Anything to do with the royal family, particularly recently um, with little George being born and things. If you can be slightly rude about the royal family, <laughs> They like that even more. You can push it just a little bit and uh, people love it if you're rude about Prince Charles. <laughs> I don't know why. I think there's a lot of love in there. Yeah. I think they love him, but if you can be rude about him, Gentle they lap that up. Yeah, totally. What's the weirdest thing that's ever happened while you've been working on the bus? We had a guy <laughs> who got on the bus once and um, I thought he was the best passenger we've ever had because he sat there beautifully just listening to everything I said, laughing, all my jokes. I thought, I like this guy. And when we got to the end, he didn't get off the bus. And I, I, I sort of went, why? Oh, this is, we're, we're done now, you, sorry, you've got to get off. And he's like, oh, I thought, I thought you were going to take me home. He thought it was just a normal London yeah. bus <laughs> and that we're going to, he's like, when are you, when are you going down to Peckham? Um, but we didn't, so yeah, but he thoroughly enjoyed it. He learned a lot about well, London. I'm, well, I've really enjoyed my tour, so can I have a go at your job? Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't see why not. I need a little break. Um, okay. Cool. Let's get going. Good. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the London Eye. It has 32 capsules representing all the boroughs of London and you can even get married on it. So make your way up to the top, kiss your new bride or groom at the very top and it's all downhill from there. <laughs> so how did you think I did? I, I thought that was awesome. I thought that was really good. I'd give you a massive tip if I was a passenger. Bye. Bye. So I've had a fantastic day out in London and taking the bus is a great way to see all the sights the city has to offer. Plus at Christmas you can get a great look at the festive lights. I'm off back to the campsite now, so join me later on as I explore all this site has to offer.